Joining me now is Mike Davis, founder and CEO of the Article 3 Project, and Kyle Serafin, former FBI agent and federal whistleblower. Kyle, your reaction to the timing of these events? Well, the timing is obviously suspicious. It's also kind of terrifying that they've got sources going into a sitting congressman. When I was working counterintelligence, I was actually told that we needed special permission to do that. And then since I've been out, I've had people reaching out to me and letting me know that uh, more and more they have sources into these Congress people and um, and that it's fairly regular, which is sort of shocking. I mean, I, I, I couldn't believe it when I was told that, but uh, that's what Intel people are reaching out and letting me know. So the setup, the, the rolling setups are underway, Mike. Is that Could that be what we're looking at here? If that's indeed the case, you have plants working in certain congressional offices. Yeah, it's amazing. What does that, that tell we, us? It's amazing. We've had evidence at the FBI for six and a half years, according to whistleblowers that went to Senator Chuck Grassley's office, that then Vice President Joe Biden uh, corruptly took a foreign bribe. For the last two and a half years, we've all known from Miranda Devine's reporting at the New York Post that the Bidens were corruptly on the Chinese and Ukrainian payrolls. Now we're learning it's the Romanian payroll as well. Yet what is the Biden Justice Department and FBI doing? They are going after a congressman, a backbencher congressman who's been in office for four months. As I said earlier, flying on your resume is a, is a federal offense. Joe Biden is in trouble. All right, Kyle, the Washington Examiner reported today that the FBI refused to hand over a bureau form allegedly describing a criminal scheme involving the then Vice President Biden and an unnamed foreign national after Congressman Comer issued a subpoena with a Wednesday noon deadline. Well, well Kyle, the form in question is this unclassified FD-1023. So what reason would the FBI have to withhold that from the Oversight Committee? Well, Why? Yeah, I mean, I, I kind of predicted this right up front. They were going to do the, the classic, uh, it's an ongoing investigation excuse, and uh, that we are going to protect our sources and methods. And uh, I actually won my bingo because uh, Chris Ray did that in the same sentence when he was replying to uh, to a committee this morning. So, you know, one of the reasons that we know that they're not going to be honest is because they have no oversight. They have no reason to be honest because w who's going to come and get them? You know, we're dealing with sort of a constitutional crisis where the executive branch is going up. They have all the authorities that the, the legislative branch should have. They sort of gave those up. And uh, we're looking at these executive agencies saying, what are you going to do to us? You keep approving all of our funding. The omnibus bills keep going in. So they have no fear of losing funding. They have no fear of losing any sort of um, authorities. There's just there is no real oversight. And they can kind of yeah. just thumb their nose at these people. Well, and Mike, the media, they're working overtime to discredit the Oversight Committee as well. Um, Politico writing that House Republicans showed their cards sans a smoking gun that directly links President Joe Biden. Jake Tapper dutifully carried the water for the president on CNN today. Watch this. James Comer of Kentucky says he has the receipts, bank records that he alleges prove that President Biden's son Hunter pocketed millions in payments from foreign entities in China and Romania, including when... Biden was vice president. This will be an uphill battle for Republicans to prove that these payments were in any way illegal. They still have not shown any evidence that then vice president, currently president, Joe Biden, was directly involved in any of it. <laughs> Mike, it's so sad that that's the level of thought and analysis over there at CNN. What was Hunter Biden's talent? How did the uh, Bidens get so rich? They're simple questions that the, the blinders on uh, over, the, over the other network, they don't want to confront that. How did they get so rich? Well, I mean, he's a, he's a fantastic artist, clearly, because he had nine members of the Biden family on these payrolls. It seems like every Biden was on the payroll, except for the four-year-old granddaughter, who the Bidens don't claim. They had $10 million going to the Bidens, 179 suspicious activity reports. I think it's because of his international art talent. Yeah, well, the, did the dog, what was the dog's name, Chomp, Champ, whatever his name, did he, did he get a check? All right, Mike and Kyle, thanks so much.